So you're a new or aspiring trader and you just can't justify spending the 100 plus dollars a month for a stock scanner. I gotcha. And here I've actually made a URL hosted trade ideas pre-market scanner. Right, that anyone can use. Anyone with a, with an internet connection, you can type this into your uh, URL, bam, and you're gonna pull this up. This here is Trade Ideas. This is a very premium stock scanning software, and this is kind of just hosting the the things that are being populated into the um, the Gap Scanner. It's hosting that image onto the internet, right? And this is live updating. So as you're sitting here, you're gonna see these numbers move around. And um, I'm going to go ahead right now and show you how to use this. Um, if you're just here for the scanner and you feel like you already know what to do, go ahead and scroll down below and uh, the URL should be right there in your face. So for everyone else that's actually interested in how to use this and how I filter my stocks, I'm going to go ahead and run through and explain that to you here. So first of all, right off the bat, I want you to know that you can uh, filter this by clicking on these headers up here right these uh these column headers you can filter it you know by volume this is everything with with high volume you can filter it by the gap and this is going to be in order of the highest gap right you can do it by price symbol float blah 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 and today i'm going to run down and show you how to filter all of this noise into a high quality high probability watch list right so here we go i am going to take a picture of this here all right here we go I got a picture and we're gonna we're gonna pull out our crayon and we're gonna start coloring all right let me make sure I got a big old pen got it all right so we got a few criteria here that I, I want to make sure you guys know them using okay so first of all ha must have 200k shares traded by 9 a.m. EST, okay? Must be over $5. And that's that's good enough. I was gonna say a float limit, but I see Uber on here and it's got 1.79 billion float. I don't wanna confuse anybody because I'm actually gonna probably end up throwing that on the watch list as it's got 4.7 million shares traded. Yeah, all right, so let's get to it. First of all, what we're going to do is, is we're going to come on down here and we're going to eliminate everything that doesn't meet our criteria. Okay, so right off the bat, APDN, the price here, see price, $1.22, we're going to have to move that out of here. It's too low, too low for me. Okay, maybe if you're a person that likes to trade these penny stocks, this would probably be a really good one for you. But I, I, I need my accuracy to be higher for like, you know, my own mental everything. So... I'm gonna go ahead and cross this off here. Okay, so this one doesn't make the cut, it's gone. Uh, KRKR, $2 below five, so we gotta cross it off, even though it's got a ton of shares, okay? QNRX, it does have over 200,000, it is above $5, we're gonna go ahead and leave that. ILAG, okay, this is another one, ILAG, I've actually, this was a high flyer recently, so, I'm going to cut it off because of my own strategy. But again, you know, if you if you use these stocks and you like to trade these stocks that are cheap like this, this is definitely one you might want to throw on the list. All right. Whoops. Uh, five shares traded here. Pff, what? How did five shares make it gap 27? I don't know, but we're not going to put that on our list. Okay. 7,000 shares traded. That's too little. We're going to go ahead and chop that as well. Right, uh, under under twenty thousand, uh, two hundred thousand. So we got to chop that one. Right under, below five. Okay, below five, below five. Valid. Too low, too low volume. Price too low. This one here, again, price too low, price too low. All right, these two here, 
INVZ is actually $4.56, so it's it's real close. Real close to the $5 cutoff. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as it's under 100 million shares, so it might actually get moving. You know, that sounds good. Let's leave that up. This one here, way too expensive, okay? I didn't really put a cap on the price, but I don't usually trade things over $250 a share. You know, sometimes there's exceptions like, say, Tesla, right? That one's over that much, but we're going to go ahead and uh, cross that one off. This one here, again, volume's too low. Hey, buddy. I want to have a cheeky mouse. <laughs> what? Cheeky mouse. Okay. All right, so what we have done here essentially is now we have eliminated the noise, right? And what we are left with is going to be AMTD, right? We got QNRX, which is kind of an iffy one here because it has, you know, all these other ones we kind of landed on have like many shares traded. This one's only got 400,000, but it does meet all the criteria. We would have to check the news on this to see if it's got a valid catalyst and um, put it up on the watch list to trade right next is going to be pinterest pins here and then we got uber and then invz okay so what we just did was we just literally removed all of this noise right and some of these you know of course you know they're going to move some of them are going to move without us you know we i just don't trade this stuff so you know through my day-to-day -day practices i take these things off the list i don't trade stocks that are this cheap you know, so if this looks a little weird to you, sorry, but this is how I reached profitable and it's by removing those types of things. Okay. Now, what do you do after, after you use the scanner, whoops, after you use the scanner and you, you filter it down like this, right? What do you do now? Well, you're going to head on over to the daily chart and you're going to look for uh, gaps. You know, you're going to look for little pockets, I call them. You're going to look for descending and ascending support and resistance. You're going to look for pivots, right? You're going to look for a setup on the daily chart. You're going to look for some type of pattern that is breaking and causing this move to occur, okay, on the daily chart. Now, I'm not going to go over the charts here with you, but let's just, you know, say QNRX, right? It doesn't have anything on the chart. We don't really like it too much. You know, we're going to go ahead and remove that. Boom. Uh, INVZ down here. Um, that one's here now. 1.3 million shares. You know, it very well could have something good, but just for the, the purposes of this here, I'm going to go ahead and say, you know, oh, it doesn't have anything on the chart, right? So let's remove it. Bam. All right. So now... We've literally just brought it down to these three right here. Now, our bandwidth and our ability to track and watch these stocks is so much better if we can narrow it down to a, a couple, you know, really high probability movers like we have here, right? High volume, the right price, the right float, and a gap, right? These are all things that are indicative of, uh, of, of, of movers, you know, things that really move. We got to see what's going on here. AMTD, we got to see it. AMTD. Woo! Whoa. Here, I'm going to bring I'm going to bring down my news source here so you can see what's happening on that one. Whoa. Look at that thing. Ripping, man. Bam. So, Yep, as you see, that's how we use it, okay? We can use this every single day. Now, one of my one of my uh, you know, things that I think you should kind of watch out for is I wouldn't be looking at the scanner before 8 a.m. Eastern. Uh, there's a lot of shares that end up being traded right at 8 a.m. on the dot. So if you can get to the scanner a little bit after that, you'll have a better understanding, a more clearer picture of where the volume's headed, right? And uh, right now, Today is, is um, August 2nd. It is 8.44 a.m. Eastern. And our picks for today is going to be AMTD, PINS, and Uber. Right? That's what I would be watching. Now, there is there is a couple of these other crazy high flyers, low-priced, right? And if, if you are one of those, 
then I would I would be literally watching KRKR APDN, which is a constant one. That's a that's a previous runner. I know. Uh, I know. On ILAG. All right. So to wrap it up, that's how you're gonna go ahead and use this. That's how. Uh, that's how you're gonna filter down your stocks every morning and get the the highest probability, cleanest, highest value. I hope you guys get a lot of use out of this. I would love to see if you guys are actually using this or maybe if you got a suggestion you want me to change or, you know, maybe tweak a little bit. Go ahead and put that down in the comments below. Um, and uh, once again, the link is going to be in the description. And please hit that thumbs up, the, the subscribe, hit the bell icon if, if you would. And then you'll be notified anytime I come out with any more uh, educational content or even even little little projects like this. Um, so thanks a lot. Thanks for watching and uh, stay green.